So this is just a mock-up of what I'm trying to do. There's two rails for each of a set of three panels and they need to be tilted up with an optimal angle of around 35 like, oops, like this. Now we don't want it too high like this which will be perfect and catch the wind too much so it's going to be like somewhere around here that is kind of acceptable for my kind of a roof. Now your might be different so you need to work out what works best for you and now it's just a matter of work out how to actually lift it up um, with the timber that I have. Whenever there's a knock in the wood, it's a lot harder to cut. It's still good because it's going to be like on the bottom side as a support. I don't really mind. So these are the top stand or support. My carpenter friend will laugh at me, but to be honest with you, it's good enough. It's going to be on the roof. No one's going to notice it anyway. This is probably the hardest part of the entire build. Each of these were about 25 kilos, maybe a bit more. And to lift it up to the roof, definitely you need some help. And what I find is um, lift it halfway up first onto a platform, climb up and then pull it up by myself. I mean, I got some help here with my wife and my kid, but definitely some danger money right there and depends on how many panels you've got so I have eight to do and four more to go so 12 altogether and um, actually even knack after just a few and unfortunately there's no other way even with scaffolding you still need to somehow pull your pull it up with um, rope <laughs> I always get really self conscious whenever. <laughs>
this update. Um, the rafts are now tied to the side of the shed, just behind the cutter with uh, strapping, so they're not going to fly away anytime soon. Paint them in black just to blend in a bit. I'm too lazy to paint, so I just sprayed it. But to be honest with you, for outbuilding, I don't really care. Not going to see much of this anyway. So eight panels at the back is tied down as well. So even if it's a bit windy, it should be okay. And it's already being shaded. What time is it now? It is four in the evening. So um, the panels are optimized. So even if I lose a few panels, it should be still producing good energy. But unfortunately, I can't cut down my neighbor's tree, which is right there. So this is as good as we'll get. Um, because I only just mounted it yesterday at the angle, so we're still waiting for the rain to clean it. I think I'm just going to hold it down right now and give a little brush of the dust. And that's it. Still haven't finished painting them. Still have to pigeon proof by putting some mesh underneath. And then another four panels to complete the build.